What is up guys this is Tino back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today I am going to show you the Pixel Experience Extended ROM build of 21st October 2018 based on Android Pie and this ROM is super smooth I have been using it for like 2 days now and I gotta say this is one of the most finest ROM if you wanna use customizations on top of Pixel Experience ROM which is based on Android Pie again this is the perfect ROM for you. But don't get me wrong, this ROM does not have as much customizations as there are you get on the Liquid Remix ROM. So that's the point. So if you want more and more customizations, just go with Liquid Remix ROM. If you want to know the difference like straight away that what are the things that are present over there which we do not get over here on the Pixel Experience Extended, one customization that I gotta say I really really miss is there is no like brightness sliding option like if you swipe your finger on the status bar, it won't adjust the brightness over here and there are no options available in this ROM to get that. So for those ultimate customizations, just go with Liquid Remix ROM straight away. But this ROM has one similarity with the Liquid Remix ROM that it does have this like Pixel 3 camera by default as you can see. It has portrait mode and stuff, this Pixel 3 camera by default and again the Mi A2's camera is there. So we get two stock cameras over here as the Google Pixel 3 camera and the Mi A2 stock camera. So yeah, MIUI camera and Google camera both work super fine here. So you don't have to worry about like cameras. But the thing is like if you want customizations, I have to say like you won't get a lot of customizations over here, but there are plenty of it. So that's why it's extended. Let me show you the system and over here. On the Pixel Experience official ROM, you won't get this advanced option from where you can enable camera to API. It's enabled by default over here. So on that Pixel Experience official ROM, you have to enable it like by flashing magic. So this option is present over here, which is a good thing. So let's go about phone, now Android version. And as you can see, it's Android 9, which is Android Pie. And the security patch is of October 5th, 2018 and here as you can see the build number and it shows 21st october 2018 build so that's good and let's go back over here we have gestures and the swipe up gestures work super fine as you can see the swipe up gesture works super fine and google pay and stuff just works right away over here too which is a really good thing So as you can see Google this is working fine, you don't have to install magis for it. One thing that I have noticed like if you pull down the quick settings panel like this, let me do that again. This panel just appears a little bit like later as you can see. As you can see the icons appears a little bit later so I don't have an issue with it but I just noticed it. And we do have the 5 GHz hotspot and stuff and with the brightness slider I have noticed like some kind of bug I just noticed over here. As you can see it goes a little bit bonkers when you adjust the brightness. So yeah that's how it is. Let's go into settings again. And over here inside personalizations you will get all the customizations let's go inside it and on this build you will get this like two navigation bar options don't get it wrong this is the recent panel customizations by the way let's go back we have status bar customizations from here we have icons we have status bar items like headset bluetooth etc icons over here and 4g icon and stuff over there and roaming indicator status bar weather and stuff is there Let's go inside clock. We can customize the clock and date style. We can like do it in center as you can see. And we can enable AM PM style. And you can enable date and stuff from here. Let's go into battery icon. You can change the battery icon to portrait circle, dotted circle, or even like with like normal text. From battery percentage, you can enable battery percentage to show up next to the icon or inside the icon. Let's go back. We have network traffic indicator. If you use that, 
and inside battery bar we have the battery bar enabling option of course and you can enable carrier labels too and customize it inside lock screen we have the lock screen ui over here you're gonna get this lock screen charging info as you can see and clock fonts is there you can change the clock fonts if you want to and clock font date option and stuff over here like you can change the fonts on the lock screen pretty much everywhere so let's go back inside security we do get this face auto unlock option over here which is not present in official pixel experience rom that's a cool thing and we have this fingerprint unlock option we have lock screen items over here as you can see let's go back inside buttons to have the volume rocker customizations if you want to use that and inside navigation bar you can enable this navigation bar of course and what else inside here it, it is the recent panel or recent apps customization not actually navigation bar this one the second one so you can change the recent style from stock grid and android go style if you want to use that and we have the clear all button option which does not work on android pi kind of recent panel and we even have the memory bar option over there and inside notifications we can get this quick settings customization you can change the opacity and stuff you can have quick pull down if you want to use that as you can see so everything is there let's go back we have heads up option you can disable heads up if you don't like it over here which is again not present in the official pixel experience rom let's go back inside user interface we get the animations customization like you can double tap to sleep on the status bar on this rom so if you do that as you can see it's just doing the crt animation so that is a cool thing you have the quick setting styles animations option over here inside theming we have this omni themes as you can see we have these omni themes if you use that you have some omni wallpapers and stuff over here inside general we get the gestures option here you see the double tap to sleep option and what else the swipe three finger to take a screenshot is there and this screen of power button torch does work super fine let me just show you as you can see the screen of power button torch works fine and we get the launcher settings from here if you go into home settings as you can see this is the stock launcher settings and by the way this is a pixel launcher and let me show you the launcher now here as you can see we have the google now panel to the left of this stock pixel launcher but if you pull down the notification shade like this it won't work so that's a con and tap to hold and stuff works just fine and the launcher is pretty smooth and overall the rom is really really smooth it's like straight butter almost and almost smooth as smooth as the pixel experience rom so you don't have to worry about smoothness or any kind of random reboots or stutters everything like the overall performance for day to day usage on this rom is super fine for me and here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this rom as you can see it's quite fast and in terms of the battery life of this rom i got to say this is like one of the most amazing roms because this rom does get you through a full working day pretty much easily you do not have to worry you will get like more than 7 to 8 hours of screen on time pretty much with your usage if you even use it heavily it's going to last you like more than 5 to 6 hours of screen on time so yeah it's definitely going to last you a full working day however you use it so you do not have to worry about battery life at all so battery saver and stuff is over here as you can see we have the android pi battery manager and stuff present over here and the gaming performance of this rom is fine enough you can play pubg and stuff because it's the same dark kernel so you can play pubg and stuff pretty easily you have the night light option from here you get the gaming mode and stuff from here everything is fine let me show you the ram management and app opener speeds quickly and by the way the animations are same as you can see of pixel experience rom so which is a cool thing if you want to see these animations on a custom rom which has customizations you can definitely go with this rom 
As you can see the app open app animations are there and works just fine. And in my opinion app open up animations are like smooth enough and works just fine and RAM management and stuff is good too though there are a little bit of frame drops sometimes. I don't know if you noticed that. So Play Store has stopped somehow. So it's reopened. Now it's there in memory. So as you can see all the apps are in memory and everything is fine. You can switch between apps just like this. As you can see everything is fine. So this is a great ROM. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the big thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And this is pretty much it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel because we are pretty much close to 10k subscribers mark. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one with a new custom ROM video. Bye bye now.